think that if they're no, not going to use it, they'll just edit it out probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Do Unless you, we see yeah. her attempt and production shut it down, but I doubt they'll show production shutting it down. What about like, I think, was it you who said this? I don't know where I read this or saw receipts, but the whole like, you know, we had this thing forever. I mean, look, it wasn't on the show, but we know that there's this rumor out there. Well, it's not a rumor. I mean, Dolores cheated on Dr. David. I actually know this myself. That's out there. But we always thought, personally, I always thought that it was Margaret that started that rumor because even though Margaret pretends to be friends with Dolores, Margaret loves drama and loves to bring people down. Was it you who was saying this, or I read somewhere online that it was really Teresa and her lawyer that wanted this out there so that Dolores yeah. would get and mad at Margaret? <laughs> like, I know it sounds like a thousand yeah. things, but is uh, am I right about no. this? No, I get what you're saying. And you know what? And leave it to Jersey because there's such a shit show and so much going on. You literally forget. But you and I talked about this, David, when I first came on your pod. Well, there so you I go. Told, yeah. And you forgot. Because there's so much in between. I don't know um, how you remember. I mean, I remember you were here. I remember, but I, yes. Because, you know, the thing is, because I know things too. I know about Dolores. I got a call from a major magazine like a year and a half yeah. ago before you and I even spoke to say, we need you to confirm this. We heard that Dolores cheated with so, yeah, this, so, this guy on so, Dr. David. So the whole story behind that is, at, you know, as much as people do think Margaret likes to start shit and everything, that whole thing came from Teresa. I don't know where the original story of her being with Sid and cheating on David came from. I don't know who originally brought that to light, but the person who brought that to me was Teresa. And so what they wanted us to do, because Teresa hates that Margaret and Dolores are friends, Teresa wanted me, Teresa and Jim Leonard, actually, because he was a part of this. They wanted me to slip into Kim D's DM because I was told Kim and Dolores are close. So Kim was the bridge. So I was to go to Kim D and say, hey, I'm really concerned because a lady who works at a restaurant in Manhattan just had Margaret in her restaurant. And Margaret was talking about Dolores having an affair with this Sid guy. And I need you to warn Dolores, Kim D, that Margaret is talking about this affair in public and it can be leaked and it will ruin Dolores. So Kim was like, I will go tell her right now. And then I remember I got Bernie Zillow from page six in my DM asking me <clears throat> about this lady from this restaurant who overheard Margaret talking about Dolores's affair and how they wanted to do a story on it. And I remember I was like, oh, shit, I didn't know we were taking it this far. I thought I was just telling Kim. So Kim could go tell Dolores. So Dolores can blame Margaret and they can get mad at Margaret and no longer talk to Margaret. And that relationship will be severed. So Teresa can get what she wants. That whole exchange with me and Kim all came per Teresa and Jim Leonard. They were willing to sacrifice Dolores's reputation to piss off Dolores against Margaret because our ultimate goal was to have Dolores sever her ties with Margaret but that was all Jim Leonard and Teresa and we used Kim D so that that was that and those things have been put out and it was just a lie like Margaret was never saying this Margaret, at a restaurant Margaret wow. never never and I remember I was told by Jim Leonard to say that she was wearing a fur coat and she had her bag and I remember I was like oh because he told me look at her Instagram post she was just at a restaurant and I looked and I was like, oh, because it was a Dior tote, the book tote. And I was like, oh, I love that bag. Um, but anyway, so, yeah. So I even told uh, Kim D, I think, like, yeah, she had a fur coat on. And she had her big Dior tote. Like, I was describing it to the T as if she was there, but I just looked at an Instagram post. So I knew what she was wearing the day she was in that restaurant. And, like, and does Dolores know this? Like, does she know that Teresa would have... She does. Dolores, I'm sure, has also heard me on a podcast talking about how Louis told me, per Jim Leonard, that Polly runs brothels and that he makes good money. This and, podcast. Um, well, now you don't remember because this yeah, podcast that, is where you said that. That I remember. <laughs> trust me. Yeah. That Polly was involved with, in brothels with his ex. And that's why they're never going to divorce. And um, that they give each other shots in the ass. Um, so, you know, Dolores... And let's just say, you know, I don't know if these stories were true that Louis was telling me, but let's just say they are, you guys. Dolores knows those are true. How else would I have known? 
I mean, and at this point, Dolores knows what I'm saying is true. She has seen plenty of receipts behind the scenes. So either way, um, the fact that Dolores is still mingling over there with Teresa is crazy. They're in the Hamptons right now, David. You're in the Hamptons, right? I almost went to uh, the dinner or the same place that Teresa and Jen Aiden were on Friday night. Thank God I did. Yes. So Dolores was just pictured with Jennifer Aiden and Teresa at a Hamptons event. I think they're at Jill Zarin's party or something. Mm -hmm. But but there they all are together. And so that's that is there's your Switzerland. I don't know how that girl, how Dolores can put everything aside, knowing what Teresa has done to her, knowing what these people were saying about her and her boyfriend, her fiance, or is he her? I don't know if he's her fiance. It's crazy that it, it almost comes down to David that they're all using each other. It's sick. That is sick. I mean, she's doing it, I guess, just to keep the job. She's like, I'm making this money. Let me keep it for one more year. Yeah. That is sick. Yeah. Anything else? Did we mention everything? I feel like, Um, what else am I forgetting? In regards to Carrie Ann, when we were talking about her talking to Vanessa, I don't know if I included included this or not, but this is how I found out um, that everything I was, you know, speculating was true and why they didn't want um why they didn't want um Teresa finding out that Carrie Ann was involved and how yeah and everything. I remember there was there was even videos sent of Carrie Ann impersonating weird videos that Louis has put out those videos exist guys where she's mocking Louis so I know for a fact Carrie Ann does not like him but again you know there's a paycheck there I just don't see how they keep keep at it you know like now, can't Louis, he is who he is and uh, they don't like him. I don't know how they can work with someone they don't like. And I guess what Louie doesn't like Jim or Carrie Ann because he wants what total control of Teresa. He wants total control of Teresa. Uh, Louie hates the fact that Jim Leonard is not only her attorney and, you know, he gives her advice. He also manages money. I don't think Louie likes anybody managing anything in regards to Teresa. Jim is more than an, an attorney to Teresa. He's more than just, you know, legally speaking, like paperwork guy. No, he gives her advice. He helps control narratives behind the scenes. He's very much, I mean, look at all the shit we put out on him. He's very much involved behind the scenes with Teresa in many, many ways, including running her money, which is something he hates. And he didn't think to take five minutes out and get on both knees and beg her to to sign a prenup, like beg, just. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. But there's a reason why she didn't. Louis has influence over her now more, especially now more than ever. Well, look what he did with the podcast and that doesn't exist. Like Louis gets his way. Like Teresa, it's so 